Morning, it's uh, Graham Stevens from Epping CFA, and welcome to our 2020 virtual uh, open day at the station. Uh, what we've got for you first up this morning is a quick look at one of our um, off road appliances, which is Epping Tanker. Epping Tanker is a what we call a 3-4D appliance, which means it carries 3,000 litres of water uh, on board and is a four wheel drive appliance. Uh, the truck's been with us for up to about 17 to 18 years, and we'll go through the lockers for you so you can see exactly what we carry on board. First of all, we have our first aid locker. Uh, it carries a variety of different equipment we can use for first aid and some other bits and pieces that are useful for the crew when they're on scene, including some uh, torch for lighting. On the back here is the rear deck of the appliance. Nice and firmly shut. Um, there's three crew who sit on the back of this truck and the very nature of the way tankers work in the CFA fleet uh, is that crew can operate off the rear of the appliance using the hoses at the top near the tank uh, which actually as the truck moves forward um, in the course of putting that fire out uh, they can actually use those hoses on the top deck as the truck moves uh, and direct water directly onto the flames. So uh, this truck is quite a mobile appliance uh, during our sort of fires uh, which gives us that flexibility we need. Uh, as we move around to the rear of the truck, uh, we have our dead reel, which is probably 90 metres worth of um, hose, which is dried on the reel. Uh, we can run it out as we like. Here we have our pump. Uh, this pump here uh, directly takes water from the tank, or we can certainly use that from a hydrant too. Uh, this pump here runs around about 950 litres a minute uh, of water, so uh, quite useful, uh, both in that rural environment when we're putting out grass and scrub fires, but also very handy in the urban environments uh, around town as well. In the rear locker, uh, an assortment of hose, fittings, branches, and also some gear near the top there, which we use for drafting water, which is where we suck water up um, out of dams, swimming pools, or another static water source. Uh, we have a live reel underneath. That live reel operates very much like a garden hose at home, just a little bit bigger, uh, to direct more water. Um, as we move around the side of the truck, you can see a bit of a vacant locker with some uh, miscellaneous equipment at the top, and we use that for storing some of our equipment uh, and our protective equipment as we uh, go to different jobs because we do carry generally two sets of gear which we'll show you during the course of the day. Another locker we have here stores is used for storing hose and at the top there where you can see the boots and uh, the yellow bag that carries some of our uh, chemical protective equipment so what we call a chemical splash suit. As we move around to one of the front lockers um, this truck is also equipped with uh, breathing apparatus so as we were saying just before, this truck is also used in the urban firefighting environment. Uh, so this truck has some good level of capability using that breathing apparatus, uh, very much like the urban appliances do, which we'll show you uh, in the next uh, couple of videos. As we move around, our very front locker includes a fire hydrant, an extinguisher, some bolt cutters, which we use for access uh, into areas. Uh, as well as some of the course of meat flares, which is some traffic control, uh, flashing red and blue lights, which we use for uh, uh, cordoning off scenes and making sure that uh, traffic knows where to go. Uh, the front of the truck is fairly basic, uh, very much like a normal truck. Quite a lot higher off the ground than what we notice from a normal truck, given it is a four-wheel drive appliance. Uh, near the top of the windscreen, you'll see some aluminium type uh, blankets. Uh, that's actually used as part of the crew protection system. Uh, a number of different arrangements which were introduced after uh, uh, after the Black Saturday fires where we try to make sure that all trucks have suitable crew protection available to them. Uh, and finally as we move around the front of the truck, the truck's fitted with a ball bar again for the off-road environment. Bob lights, fire readers, and as you see at the top, um, you can also see our crew protection sprays uh, which effectively surround the truck and direct water for all the critical areas. Uh, if the truck is indeed involved in the fire, uh, it gets quite intense uh, and the crew needs to take cover and protection. So that's the first truck we've got to show you for today and uh, keep track of our next lot of videos where we show the other two appliances we have here at the Brigade. So thanks again for joining our 2020 Virtual Open Day.